What's good, YouTube fam? It's your favorite girl, Jay Shark, coming back to you with yet another mother video. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not read the title, I'll let you know because honestly, you just, you can't read. <laughs> okay, let me. If you can't read my title, I'll let you know I'm going to be reacting to another Joey Diaz video. This is going to be the story of the time he messed around with a one-legged woman. Yeah, honestly, you guys, really, I don't do drugs, okay? I'm just, I just have way too much energy right now. Anyway, I reacted to his lying to his mother on acid video earlier, and I was completely floored. You've probably seen that video, honestly, and yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. So, before we get into this video, make sure you hit that. Why am I slapping? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and follow me on Instagram at jsharo with an H at the end. Let's get into it. By the way. I did not know this was what I By the way, you Tim. know Potter. Tom. Did you know that he can't come? Where? Josh Potter. The jeans edition is mad up. cute. And he can and ejaculate. Uh, with a girl, no. Tremendous, that's even better. He wants to. Who though. wants to come? He wants to. I want to drill a hole in their fucking eyes that they can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you're fucking them and their one eyeball is hanging out. Jesus. And they're like, when are you going to come? Because I come quick. Yeah. Uh, I come in a minute. So if I could come in. Right there with you, brother. If I could come in 20 minutes and just keep giving your dick going from pussy to asshole to mouth. <laughs> Ew, back to your fucking geez, pussy. Joey. Drill it back that's to your That's what you're doing? That's no, what you're but doing? but that's my fantasy. If I can come for an hour, oh. Hitting you in the face, making you suck it, <laughs> popping it out, and hitting you. You're like confused. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't know where you're going. Like so he's never it's, come. He's right here. Like, he's right there. Talk to him. That's how it usually goes, by the way. Yeah, that's it. It's an hour of fucking straight. But, he, but he, he can only come if he jerks off. He can't okay. Be. Then when you want to come after the chick is laying there like she got shot in Vegas. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like she's laying there, <laughs> the one leg is hanging. You know what I'm saying? Her mouth was stretched out. Her, her asshole, it's still open like a dragon's mouth. You know, when you okay. fuck him in the ass, the asshole stays open. Oh, okay. And they're just laying there <laughs> drinking milk, trying to recoup and shit. You're giving them like Gatorade, then yeah. you just drink off on the tits. <laughs> And call it a night. There you go, man. Why are we even trying to solve this? Problem? Dude, I don't think it's a problem. Anymore. It's not a problem. You don't? No, yeah. No. no. I don't know. That Joey's sure. convinced me. I mean, I want to just mangle some. If you told problems. three chicks that you couldn't come, that you could give them each dick for an hour, you could get all three of them to show up at once and just keep going like Don Henley style. Did you ever read that book? You won't uh -uh. work in this town again. It came out in 98 about a hooker uh -uh. who wrote about all her experiences, and she wrote about Don Henley. That she would go to Don, Don Henley would order four bitches, and he would sit there at this table like this was his table, and that's a fireplace. He would make them bend over. Don't, don't don't even look at me. <laughs> he wouldn't even let them look at him. Just look towards the fireplace and, and bend, bend over. over. And he'd do lines of coke, and then get up, open up his robe, and stick it in you like four times. And he'd sit back down again, and he'd do a couple more lines, and, and he'd have you there for eight hours. That's that just be his life. Over. This could be your life, Josh. God, I <laughs> hope so. That's someday. That's yeah, when do you, it. Like, too when, much. You, when I was younger and I did coke, oh, there was dick for fucking four hours. Yeah. You just were giving out dick. They're looking at you like, when is this going to stop? And then when you do come, it's one of those long loads. Yeah. You ever have those loads? Like he I looks used uncomfortable. To, I used to be on probation. And there was a dude that was like a G.I. Joe dude that failed the police test. But his assistant was a good-looking woman. Like, she was kind of cute. If I was 30, she was like 38, nobody talked to her in Boulder because she had like a wooden leg. Like her leg was kind of like she had like that little limp. But you could tell the bitch had game. Like she could suck her cock. I mean, look <laughs> in the eyes and I could tell this bitch is deadly. But nobody talks to her because of the fucking wooden leg. Or yeah. whatever the fuck she's got. She got shot in Vietnam. I didn't know what happened to her. And she was very nice. I forget what her name was. I'd see her. I'd always flirt with her. But when I was doing... And I was in the probation. I figured out how to fuck with the piss test. I'm uncircumcised, so I would take, like, fucking pool cleaner and put it on my dick and then pull the skin over <laughs> it 
and put like a tab over it, like a bread tab, like a like a fucking rubber band. And then when I would go pee, the guy would watch me. And I would take my the thing out and just pee and then pull the skin back and all the pool cleaner what? Would go into the fucking thing. <laughs> and then I would zap the machine. They would always say to me, This motherfucker's up to something. So he asked her. He goes, Maybe you could see what the fuck he's doing. So I would, I, I, I knew when I would call him, well, I'll be there at four, because they would call you, and then you had to call a machine that would tell you what color was up. Mm -hmm. And if the color came up, that you, let's say your color is maroon, and they go, today's colors are green, maroon, and black, you would have to call in and tell them what time you're coming in. Mm -hmm. You had until five o'clock, but you had to make an appointment, and then she'd tell you, no, no, if he answered, that means he was going to watch you while you're pissed. But with me, they had mirrors around me. They couldn't figure out what I was doing. So they sent her in. So before I would go in, I'd fucking do a half a jerk in the car and get my dick nice and big. Yeah. And then I'd sprinkle it the fucking uh, pool cleaner. The pool cleaner. <laughs> the or the pool, doesn't sting your dick, the it pool did. cleaner? It did. I got scars. I got little holes <laughs> in my dick. And, wow, Drano. Yeah. I would grind it up. I would fucking put it under my dick. And then pull the skin How back and just fall into the piss test. Don't do it. drugs. But before I would piss, I would take the hammer out and show it to her. Like, what do you think? What do you think? There's something nice. And she would look at it and look around the room. <laughs> and not like I knew like, I was going to end up sleeping with her or swapping spirit with her. Because I flirt with her. Nobody yeah. talked to the woman because she had a fucked up leg. Mm -hmm. So I'm off probation. I'm delivering Chinese food. And I'm slinging coke at the same time at the Chinese restaurant. Jesus Christ. So I would have, to, I would have you call the Chinese restaurant and say... I talked to Joe, yeah, what's up? Oh, you want egg drop soup, whatever. The cocaine would be hidden under the egg drop soup, so that if I got in trouble, the Chinese people got in trouble. I didn't put it in the bag. This is when I was out already, out of prison. <laughs> One night I knock on the door, and <laughs> the door. It's her. And she goes, oh, my God, it's so great to see you. How have you been? And I go, it's great to see you. Man, I gave her a hug, and I put the Chinese down, and she goes, what are you doing with your life? I, I, I'm getting divorced. But I got the stand-up comedy, and I'm trying to deliver food to make a living. And she's like, oh, that's so sweet. You, you and her broke up. Oh, you must need a hug. And as I started hugging her, we started swapping spit. And I touched a little monkey, and I could feel nobody had even touched a monkey in like 10 years. Steam started coming up. And I started fingering that motherfucker like a savage and swapping spit with her. And my hand was nice and wet, and I'm fingering her. I got a pinky surrounding her asshole. And I'm working. And finally, I put it down slowly, and I pop her pants. I take her tit out. She's got one big fucking tit. I'm sucking her tits. And I'm, sm I'm fucking sm I'm making out with her. I'm fingering her at the same time. So while I'm fingering her, I take her pants down, but I go, I don't want to see what the other leg is. So I took the leg off of the good leg, and I left the fucking bad leg covered because I don't want to know what yeah. it is. If she's got like a pole in yeah. one of those fucked up feet. <laughs> so I picked up a fucking knife and I started eating her pussy. The clit fucking was huge. I'm sucking on it like a piece of, like a piece of bubble. Come on. I look up at her and she's like this, Christine, like, with her mouth open. I go, now's the time to put the helmet in that fucking mouth. <laughs> so I switched up. I started two finger Louie in her and I went around her. And I put that fucking hammer in her mouth, and she didn't know what to do. She's like, mm. and, I was, and at that time, and at that time, I was trying to fucking lift weights and shit, so I wasn't jerking off. Because somebody told me not to jerk off that your protein. I was yeah. retarded. Yeah. Dog, you know, I'm retarded. Yeah. And when I came in the mouth, it was one of those loads, Christine, that don't stop. Yeah. You have one of those things. I know. Christine. And you're sucking it. You're sucking it with your eyes closed, and then after a minute, you open it up because you're like, when is this gonna stop? And I could look at her swallowing it, and it was endless. It was fucking endless. It was just a load of death. It was like a month and a half of not coming. There was Valium in there and Xanax and fucking Well, it's okay. a nice thing, Joey. Nice to stop I shot a load in the mouth, and when I took my dick out, she went, ah. It was like she drank a gallon of Mountain Dew. She looked at me. She started getting a little dizzy. Oh, my God.
fucking I was disgusting. selling Valium at the time. I was taking like 100 milligrams of Valium a night. When I shot in her mouth to put her in a trance, she was glassy-eyed. She gave me a $3 tip, and I left, and I never saw her again. Uh, she must have ate that Chinese food and slept for a week. Oh, my God. Oh. You Jesus got any Christ. dates coming up? You want to? <laughs> <laughs> that you, you can still you got a Twitter feel, handle. You, you can still feel that? what that nut felt like. I bet, right? Oh, it was like a Very it was like coming. a three minute nut. Yeah. Wait a minute, you didn't even bang her. You no, didn't put it no. in her vagine. No, no, oh, that's, no. That's, that's, the limitation of the pussy was tremendous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I licked her ass. Sorry, I blacked out at some point. I didn't listen. Close Once I that. shove my tongue in your ass, you black out. It's like it's like you're 14 and your uncle's molesting you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> no! You just black out and let happen what's going to happen anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is too good. Oh, man. You're Fuck the best. It. Take a shower. Fuck it. Uh, Joey Diaz. I want to take uh, a shower. Church of what's happening now. Whew, um, he needs to go to church after that. You got to repent, You got to see him at the comedy store. <sighs> Go his dates. Where did your web? Your website? I'm uncomfortable. JoeyDiaz.net. Literally. You're the, best. You're the best. So are you guys. I love you love so much. Joey. Christine, uh, you lived that load when I was saying it. That's why. <laughs> I did not it live took you back that load. I did not. I did not. And you got a bad she, you batch of Hungarian dicks. <laughs> yeah, I like Puerto, Puerto Ricans. Ricans. Yeah, you got a bad batch of those Placanito sperm where you just kept fucking swallowing, <laughs> saying this is the worst pina colada I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck did y'all just have me watch? I thought y'all had my bag. I was so uncomfortable watching that. <laughs> I think that's the worst Joy Diaz video. The most vulgar Joy Diaz. The most vulgar freaking reaction I've ever reacted to. Like. I was not prepared at all. Earlier, as I stated, I reacted to the lying to my mother on acid. Now, y'all got me reacting to this. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all need to repent. Like she said, y'all need to go to church and ask for forgiveness because what did I just watch? <laughs> no words, no more words, no more words. If you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to give me a beautiful thumbs up. I really just want to go brush my teeth and take a shower after that. If you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and follow me on Instagram at jshar with an H at the end. I love you. You love yourself 10 times more. Have a beautiful day or night in this amazing world. Ciao. Y'all nasty.